All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us, the Telltale game or Telltale series game. Now, we did the first two episodes um, last stream, and oh man, guys, like I gotta say, this out of all the Telltale games we played, I haven't played The Walking Dead ones in a while, but this game, I, I didn't know what to expect going into it, but this game is so much like darker and like mature and just grungy it's 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 unbelievable the story is actually super super good i couldn't imagine how many different ways this game could go to with like the decisions and stuff you make um but so far i feel like we're doing a good job we're we're, we're you know uh we were going a little hard pissing people off becoming the big bad wolf again but uh i feel like we've turned it around toward the end of last episode started doing things differently because i realized you can you can still get answers out of people if you don't beat the shit out of them consistently. So, yeah, I learned something, chat. I learned something. So here we are, guys. Episode three. We're gonna be starting off today. I do appreciate again for you guys coming and hanging out. Remember, if you guys want more of this, um, just smash that like button. I know there's a second one in the making, but also other Telltale games. I know there's Batman Telltale games that you guys were telling me about. Borderlands. Uh, we could even revisit the Walking Dead ones because that's been ages since I played those. I'm talking like I had like less than freaking a thousand subscribers when i did those bad way back in the day um so yeah it just best way let me know if you guys want to see more smash that like button subscribe drop comments all those little goody things and uh yeah so let's get right into this <clears throat> all right episode our stories used to Dream. be so simple we had a beginning a middle and an end but ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's Crane. Fucking Crane, son. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Beauty. Big B. You can't be going at beast after everything you've been doing. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Okay. Okay. 
So should we rip them into pieces, chat? Like little tiny ones? Or like leave the pieces pretty big still? Here, then, you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that... that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share. I'll miss worrying about Your you. Of her. I'll miss our fights. She could be I'll stubborn miss you. and patient, Holly. rash and thoughtful. She trying to be respectful here. For the old ways, for tradition. Now you will never die from indifference pageantry. or lead a tedious all, life. It seems Goodbye, so sweetheart. Lily Thanks loved, for everything. Dearly loved Vivian. her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I you never were a met big, Lily. a bright, shining star what I've in been this told. shithole of I know a town. In my heart and I miss you already. To be here tonight. Gran. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promised me? What is she talking Holly, about? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm gonna tell him I straight think up. I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. I was gonna say it, but I was like, Look, you know, let me hold up. I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk.
probably shouldn't okay. have said something. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Pigby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... Yeah. I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. I didn't want to show Look, her the picture. Let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to not say anything, chat. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? It's fucking... Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. Oh, and I'll be honest, we should have just left that. More than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Stop this shit. Right now! He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Ah. 
I got it, damn. Is she okay? Wait, is she okay? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar. Holly, she lived. Yeah, she's Juniper okay. In Springwater. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said: the stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it, then. Miss White? Big B? So... To recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it? Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms... Everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Now that yeah, one's it, random, Chuck. It doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um... Ask you a question. 
It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. That's disrespect, chat. Ah, uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't, can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Fucking took what it. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Alright. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can oh, still solve this man. ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Chat, my question is, is he one of those little flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz? Was that the it was the Wizard of Oz, right? That had those little flying monkey things? He is, right? Okay, I, I was like. Yep, there's the key for 207. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Any updates on the extra funding I requested? It's The farm should not be punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I, I mean, I, yeah, the, 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 the farm definitely seems like punishment. Send someone to fix air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment. Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. I really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue. Yo. These fables are living a shitty life, dude. Toe Flamingo. I absolutely love your name and your picture. Thank you so much uh, for the super chat. And, um. Oh, rest in peace, Toriyama. Yeah. DZ, DBZ will never be the same, man. Uh, but don't forget, I appreciate the love, brother. Seriously. It's 
So yeah, a lot of this is uh huh? Oh. Correspondence talking about you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last uh, incident in 204. It's fallen off the walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out the room as it is. Been waiting for days, not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. It's worse now. Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Here we go. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, what? yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but- This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That 
has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Fuck, oh, guys. Um... I'm thinking maybe Crane's apartment? I don't really want to bother Holly. Again, I feel like we're not really going to get much information out of that. Mm. Thinking Crane's apartment, probably. You know what I mean, guys? Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, it was either Crane or the D's, and I feel like this will be my best bet. Nineteen oh three, that's Crane's room right there. Door's already open. Crane. We got one hour and fifty five minutes until the the meeting. Him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. Damn, what's going on here? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work? If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. We got a key to something. Might be useful. Okay. Teach in the old days. Great. All right. Everybody can stay 
stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Same brand we found in the open arms. Okay. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. We gotta go fast, so I think we're on a timer right now. I don't see anything that the key could go to. Really? No, nope, not that box. Tim with the five gifted men. Thank you so much. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. <gasps> Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I'll snap your shit, bro. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay! Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know 2 plus 2 is 5, am I right? I can tell you who she is. Who is if it? If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. Alright. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. 
I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. Is that it? Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I don't know, but I'll think of something. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Go to the D's. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Tim with the super chat. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Are you okay? Your face, sir. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, he... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. No beer mugs on this one. I'm not supposed Brian. to just let people. I don't in want here. to interfere with the story. Mad, cool. Saying, Appreciate you too. Oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. 
Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. Damn, so we you wasted time coming here, dude. Bluebeard obviously already came and, and wiped it out. We probably should have just went straight to fucking Holly's place. <laughs> We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. To the dead. Oh. 
All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Just get out of here, Woody. Fuck, he'll remember that chat. I mean, what the f I didn't do anything bad. I just said, Man. get the fuck out of here, dude. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. And won't remember this fuck, dude. I right, we could have got more info from him for sure. There's her stuff right there. Okay, how the fuck can we... the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Check it out. This sneeze. It's Narissa in the back too. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. 
Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Here we go, chat. I probably think we're gonna we're we're real late, but Big B, I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number twenty three. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. It's, yeah, Fuck. I know. This is it. God damn right. it, man! How do you want to do this? Let's kick the fucking door in. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well... Pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And, uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. <laughs> What's yours? Just so... we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... Something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Damn, she didn't even say yeah. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here! Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. 
That your mom? Uh huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy, that's how we like it. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Kid, what are you hiding? No one's been over all night. Move. You little shit. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Wait, the, the, there was somebody back there. How much longer do you think it'll be? Why won't he let me... Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? 
Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Yeah. Damn, chat. It is fucked up. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you gotta remember, like, what she does is is to get by due to the lack of, I don't know. She's Crane's witch though, chat. So she's not that good. I'm, I'm like, she's doing. If in my head, I'm like, you know, if she was out here just doing this for for the. All the uh the like the the side fables the people that we've been pretty much putting our boot on and forgetting about and just you know they're, they're out down here in the trenches chat you know what i mean she's down here in the trenches and we're up on our ivory tower and we're sitting uh, i don't know fuck chat Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. So what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you.
No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I one fucking TV, dude. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now! So he's gonna fucking lie, dude? I'm gonna crush his shit, dude. Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big me. Wait, don't. Maybe he's not... I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. It wasn't him, chat. Please, I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No, this will work. I assure you, it, it must. It wasn't him. I, I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. Somebody glamored as, as him. I guarantee somebody, they're setting him up. It wasn't him. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and... and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't talk to me. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years. Bluebeard? Haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you. So quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think 
you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. So he's disgusting. He's fucking scum of the earth. I'm okay. But he, uh. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? But he's not a murderer. About to hit us with a drive by. That's a drive by moment. You don't just fucking. Sit there and oh shit. shit. Why would you drive down the alley? Why wouldn't you go in the door? It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. No, she will shoot the fuck out you. Back Tweedledee. up. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm going to do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. It's fucking Bloody Mary chat. Fuck it. They fucked up. They know they fucked up. How much ammo they got in that 
fuck is shotgun, dude? Oh damn, she's got that supernatural one going on, dude. It was a good show, but, you know, they just didn't know when to end. You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But, as it turns out, it's just a Right, Wolfie? <laughs> I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! That was hard. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Yo, Bloody Mary's mm. like this. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Bloody Mary's old peach, huh? Like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a twiddle's day. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new, along with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. I was going to kill... Sweet D chat, but I figured Snow would be super pissed if I did. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. 
We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Tweedle dumb, yeah, whatever one it was, dear Woody, dumb. not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Damn, chat. It just, yo, know, you guys were in line. It just really keeps getting better, dude. It really does. Oh, man. Uh, did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? Um, so most people didn't. Did you make a deal with Jack? I did. Uh, I offered Flycatcher a job. See, it says almost 80% of people did not burn the, chi the tree chat. So we're, we're, we're doing good. Um, did you kill Tweedledum? You and 55.8% of players showed Tweedledum mercy. See? So I'm, 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 in, the, I'm in the majority of everything. I'm in the majority of everything. Ah, man, no, this shit is good, guys. It, it really is. So we're already on episode four, guys. got two episodes left episode four and five I'm contemplating whether i have enough time to do another episode because i gotta be up early tomorrow so tomorrow's gonna be a weird day guys um let me let me tomorrow's gonna be a weird day because i have to actually move my office um upstairs uh temporarily while they work on this room so uh it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting to say the least um so I'm thinking, uh, it seems like every episode's about an hour and a half. I don't know, maybe we'll just save, maybe we'll save the next two episodes. Uh, and we'll just do them both in one final stream. Yeah, it, it really is, Lorenzo. Like, like, playing this has me so stoked to play uh, the new one that you guys were talking about. Like, this shit is so good. It, it's taking turn after turn after turn after turn. Um... It's, it's so good. It's so good. But all right, yeah, guys, we'll we'll end it. We'll end this here. Um, I'll leave the last two episodes for the last stream, and we'll just we'll just knock them out. Because if not, I'd only be able to do one more episode anyways, and then we'll be stuck with one tiny stream. So I'd figure we'll we'll just go full blown, finish the story next time, um, and we'll go from there. But this is definitely motivating me to want to play some more Telltale games, guys. I forgot how it, it just how awesome they are. Like. I love it. Absolutely love it. But remember, if you guys are enjoying this, you want to see more, hey, just smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are actually, you know, want to see more and have enjoying this, having fun, because I'm having a freaking blast. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Uh, you know, drop a comment down below, all that good stuff. It really, really helps out, guys. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to try to wake up early, start getting my stuff moved. That way we can just kind of get into the streams uh, as soon as possible. But I got to move my whole setup upstairs. It's going to be <sighs> not looking forward to it. <laughs> but uh, I'll be uh, doing that tomorrow. So uh, again, thank you all. I love you all. You have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.